You know what will help getting rid of those sagging arms? We'll look no further because fitness and lifestyle consultant Ashley Borden is here to help us out. But first, we're going to take a look at one woman's concern about her sagging arms. Ugh, this is so gross. How can I make my saggy arms stronger so that I can do the everyday things without such a struggle, like maybe getting my luggage from the closet or putting it up on an airplane bin? I need help. Can you help me, please? Elizabeth is here, and Ashley, you have some moves you're going to teach Elizabeth. I, and I love the fact you're asking practical questions like putting things in the overhead bin on yeah. airplanes. It's yes. an important skill to have. Yes, I see that all the time, people struggling with everyday activities that also will help to sculpt the body. Um, and also, you told me you just lost 80 pounds. Yes. Amazing. Amazing. You look great. Amazing. So you had asked me also backstage about what do you do to firm up the body and to make it stronger? Strength training is so important, but also uh, doing some myofascial release, which is what we're gonna use the roller first. So I wanna show you uh, two moves strength, and I wanna show you one with the roller that's gonna help open up the body and also make it a lot tighter, okay. all right? So we're gonna grab this roller. Go ahead and lie down, and you wanna rest your head in the heel of your hand like we're girlfriends talking. All like right. we're just hanging out, and the knee's bent, perfect. And you're just gonna rock forward and back on that lat. Exactly, forward and back. Then you would move it down a little bit. Yep. And you should feel it engaging, Elizabeth. Do you feel it? And you feel right it on those? Oh, yeah. opening. So you'll feel it kind of like skipping, and that's your lat as you're going back and forth. And what this does is open up the muscle, so then when you do your strength move or your overhead press, which I'm going to show you, it gives you more mobility and more range. Okay. So you would roll out the body on both sides, and you can do your full body. So you can roll out your whole body with this. Right. And let me show you how you're going to do your overhead press. Now, these guys are they're a little light. These are a little light, but you can start with what feels comfortable for you. I like a kneeling position because it really helps you engage the entire body. So you would curl the toes underneath you. You're gonna squeeze your bum and engage your core. Super important, especially when you're doing anything overhead. Okay. You're gonna grab the weights. You're gonna hold them right at your shoulders and you're gonna push straight overhead right next to yours. Good, and then bring it down. So you can feel how when you push over the head, your body wants to let go of your glutes and your core, but this really makes it perfect, good form. Excellent, okay? So when you're doing your overhead, I want you to pick a weight that feels challenging, okay. but not challenging enough that it's gonna compromise your form. And then I wanna show you push-up. Now, push-ups, a lot of women are like, oh, it's so hard, mm -hmm. I can't do it, it's too hard. You wanna do it so you're actually starting in a phase. Right. So I would say with somebody who does not know how to do a push-up, you can even start from just the top of a push-up, where you're really squeezing those glutes, and I wanna show you a really good See cue. See I didn't even... <laughs> Don't be scared. <laughs> okay, so let me just show you a good cue also, and this is, this is a great cue when you're doing, uh, when you have your hands and you're doing a, mm -hmm. a push-up position. Pretend like you're trying to rotate plates outward. Okay. Yes, but don't move the hands, so you'll feel your lats engage. Real important with the push-up, then you're gonna bring one toe back, squeeze that glute, and then bring your other toe back. Perfect. So you would hold that position really, really strong, squeeze your glutes, keep your core tight, excellent. Then the next, the next phase would be on the knees. Okay. So you would go to the knees, same position where you're screwing those arms inward. Mm -hmm. You're gonna open up the chest as you go down and then push away from the floor. Look at that. Ah. Excellent, <laughs> do one again, let me see. What? Look at this form. That's excellent. Nice work, hey, Elizabeth. I'm that was excellent. Never done one. Come on up really? here. That was I'm really gonna, good. And, and you know, you're going to build up that strength. Right. And as you build up strength, that's functional strength. And what I love about these body weight exercises that Ashley's talking about is you can do them at home. They're free. Yes. And they help with everyday activities. So that the next time, hey, if you're on an airplane with me and it's way in the back, I will be happy to grab oh, it for you. Because okay. when you're 6'4, usually you're the ones home. like, hey, can you grab that for me? I'm happy to do it. But next time you're going to say, no, no, no. I got, I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. That was really good. Thank you so much. Thank you. I actually really appreciate you.